Hello, my name is Martyr, and this is Let's Play We Slay Monsters, and thank you for watching. We Slay Monsters is an RPG strategy game, guys, with roguelike or uh, roguelite elements in it, depending on what term you prefer, what, you know, which side of the fence you fall on when it comes to rogue game, guys. And I know there's a lot of rogue games out there and you might initially look at the screenshots of this game and think it's more of the same but what Reslay Monsters does have is a very unique and interesting combat system. It released on Steam Early Access November 2014 which of course means that everything you see is subject to change guys and not a final representation of the game. So you know just relax, take it easy, just you know most of the elements in the game pretty much work. I haven't really ran into too many bugs when playing the game. It was developed by Furiously Inactive Gamers. You can go ahead and buy We Slay Monsters on Steam for the low price of $4.99. And apparently it's available on Itch.io, which I'm still wondering how you pronounce that. It's Itch.io or Itch.io? Itch.io? I, don't, I don't like saying Itch.io. It sounds funner. And it's available on Desura, guys. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and get into this game, guys. You basically are kind of like the head of, the, I think it's like they call the, the Heroes Academy, or not really sure what it's called. And basically, your job is to kind of restore it to its glory, basically. As far as options go, there really isn't that much to speak of. There is resolution control at the, when you first start the game up. Pretty sure the game was made with the Unity engine. Uh, you can basically kind of change the resolutions around, windowed. You can kind of mess around with the graphics. Uh, as far as in-game options go, there's just music sliders, nothing to really, you know, uh, scream about as it were. So let's go ahead and hit play. And this is kind of it right now. This is the entire game world. Uh, this little map here um, where we are. And this kind of shows you what dungeons you can go into. All the orange flags are actually dungeons you can go into uh, with random heroes and kind of take on and get treasure and loot from and see how you do. The overall like goal of the game, I guess you could say... Um, is to kind of like upgrade the academy, which is what you're looking at right here. This is the academy right here. These are all the buildings in it. Like, so if I click on that one, you can see different things pop up. And basically what you're trying to do is you're trying to amass enough, enough gold to kind of rebuild the academy, bring it back to its former glory. Right now, there is no campaign mode in the game. It's something that's going to be in the game in final release. So I guess there will be like a, um, kind of a form of progression uh, towards beating the game. But right now, all you can really do is just kind of random dungeons and arena mode. Anyway, so let's continue exploring the academy. The academy here allows you to upgrade your, well, your heroes, essentially. The heroes that you're sending into the dungeon. You don't play just one particular hero like you would see in a more traditional roguelike. You play a schmack ton of heroes. You play all of them. Uh, and basically, depending on what upgrades you have at your, uh, you know, your academy at, the, at your base, you can have different upgrades. So, for instance, if I were to spend 500 gold on for this, I would have a level two head item piece on whatever hero I was playing. So, if I was a wizard, I would have a level two, you know, wizard hat. If I was a warrior, I'd have a level two plate helmet. It's all randomly generated because, of course, it's a rogue game, so things are just kind of always random. But you can kind of you have that kind of form of progression here. Um, to kind of upgrade your things and keep things kind of going in a general direction. I'm not sure if the dungeons get harder as you upgrade your character. I think that they might get actually a little bit easier as you upgrade your character. I'm not 100% sure about that though. And basically each part of the um, academy here basically does something a little bit different. Like there's a shop that basically helps all your heroes. There's a wizard tower, which is specifically for wizards. Duh. Uh, there's a teacher's quarter, which I think, what does this do again? This one, uh, luckier. I think this was just lets you upgrade their stats. Yeah. Upgrade the stats of all your heroes. And also each one of these buildings gets basically can be upgraded to kind of, uh, improve upon, you know, let you access the next tier, I should say, of upgrades. So for instance, if I had, uh, I think I need to, let me see. Ah, uh, yeah. So for me to get to level two right now, I think I need to upgrade the building for me to purchase, you know, stronger level two uh, and get that extra strength point. And basically you kind of need to keep up the building upgraded as much as you are getting the things upgraded in themselves. Now, how do you earn gold? Well, you earn gold by going into dungeons. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, we're going to start off with the wizard, even though there is multiple classes. From what I understand, there will be five classes total when the game is finally released. Currently, there's only two. There's fighter and wizard, or I should say warrior and wizard. And when you basically start a dungeon off, you're going to get kind of like a gold. It says retrieve 
a golden spork of ascendancy from rock uh, rockelier rockelier's demonic hallow all right so that's our goal we gotta get back to these golden spork we can choose from four heroes basically who are up for this task and each of them kind of starts off with a starting perk so for instance uh amelin there starts with her pack she packed a robe uh, anaham has uh 10 gold to start homasa there has a magic orb pamela has her red puppy i don't know what the hell a red puppy is so i'm actually going to take that one i'm kind of curious and we'll talk about what gold does and all that good stuff there's a little bit of explanation uh, a little bit of little story work there what does the golden puppy mean can i look to kind of click on her what does that even mean i have no idea she just has a red puppy oh maybe it's like a pet oh that's cool Ah, that's cool. We'll attack monsters before he's levels up with your hero. Your hero can switch places with the pet by moving on to the pet's map square. If your pet dies, your hero will be sad. Wow, all right. So we have a pet. Interesting. I didn't know that you could do that in this game. Let's talk about what you're looking at right here, guys. On the top left, we have our health, which is represented by that heart. On the top, we have the gold. And to the right of that, we have our experience bar, the map. Uh, on the bottom left, we have the number of cards in our deck. On the bottom, we have our obviously our hands in our deck, uh, which is how we attack monsters and actually kind of affect things in our area. Like I said, it's not a traditional roguelike. As a matter of fact, it actually reminds me more a little bit more of um, Coin Crypt more than an actually traditional uh, roguelike. Uh, and of course, the discard pile basically shows how many um, cards we have in our discard pile so i'm going to read this straight from the uh steam store page because i think it does a really good job of explaining what the combat system is kind of like it's a poker-esque card-based co combat mechanic most hands that would be valid in a poker game are valid here except the deck is made up of six suits instead of four with face values from one to nine instead of ace king um and flushes can be made with only three of the same suit and any flush results in a super attack each suit has a unique attack ability. I hope that you kind of understood all that, but I'll try to run through it for you in kind of layman's terms. So let's go ahead and click on this lightning card. As you can see, it's a one of a kind card. It's a lightning card, one of lightnings, magical damage, intelligence based, range attack. Regular attack, the damage is the enemy, ignores any defenses the enemy has. Now, if I were to have three lightning cards, uh, it would do a super attack, which is damages the enemy, Ignores the defense and then chains to one, two, or three adjacent monsters, depending on how much of a flush you have. So if you have like five, you know, five card flush, that's going to chain to three enemies. If you have a one card flush, it's going to chain to one enemy. And you get the basic idea. Each card has its own unique ability. So for instance, this, uh, you know, green card is a eight of orbs. It damages the enemy and grants a shield that absorbs equal damage. On a super attack, damages the enemy, grants a shield, and pushes back all enemies surrounding the wizard. So you can kind of get an idea of what the combat is going to be like in this game. It's going to be kind of chaotic, messy, and you never know exactly what or may happen. Which is going to be, you know, make certain fans of roguelikes happy. It might necessarily not make certain roguelike fans very happy though because there is a little bit of an unpredictability factor you can kind of strategize depending on what cards you have as a matter of fact if i click on my character i have the ability to kind of get rid of uh cards so for instance if i didn't like you know that one and five or that eight and seven i can get rid of them and try to get better cards you also have some abilities that your character kind of innately has depending on their class uh so for instance i can summon one card which i should not have done <laughs> Do I still have it? Yeah, I can summon one card. I think of like uh, any kind of suit I want. As you can see, these are all the six suits. This is melee, this is freezing, fire, lightning, orb, and wand. Wand teleports thing. It's one of my favorite suits currently uh, in the game. As far as the controls go, there is no controller support, guys. Uh, I'm hoping that's something that is maybe kind of fixed a little bit later on. Uh, but you can basically control it very simplistically. Waz controls, keyboard and mouse, nothing too fancy. So let's go ahead and actually start finally exploring this dungeon. I can stop flapping my gums here. And this is where I will say that I hope they kind of improve the game on is the graphics are not necessarily the world's greatest graphics. I just think that it's it's cute. Um, it just, it looks very generic when it comes to rogue games. I see a lot of rogue games that kind of look like this. I would like for it to have just a little bit more uniqueness, a little bit more flavor to it. To me, this is just very 
stereotypical roguelike game, even though the card system is really dope. And what I like about it is depending on which class you're playing, all the cards do something different. So the wizard has different cards from the warrior. Uh, you know, the, whatever classes they can have five total will each have their own unique abilities in their own deck, which will always basically kind of keep things fresh as far as those classes goes. So let's go ahead and start battling here. As you can see, we got some monsters here. We got an orc and some ghoul snails. You can right click on those, get some information on them, which is pretty cool. I enjoy that quite a bit. It tells you their abilities, uh, you know, what they're going to do, their resistances, etc., etc., etc. Pretty, uh, pretty quite a uh, pretty detailed information, as it were. So let's see if I can shoot somebody here with a lightning bolt. I cannot. So I'm actually, uh, because the mage has a lot can attack one square away. So that, like, for instance, one, two, I can attack right here uh, from her, but she can't, um, she can't target anybody. So I'm actually just going to skip my turn, which I can simply do by either hitting this button or I can hit the space bar and it'll also do that. So I'm going to hit the, now that he's one square away, I'm going to cast lightning bolt. Uh, okay, now we got three of a kind here. We got the three orb cards. As you can see, it's kind of a flush. So we're going to use that, and that's going to kill him. That lets you know how much damage that's, that particular card is going to do. So it's going to do 25 damage. It's going to give me a shield, and it's going to blow him back. Uh, normally, I try to use this on a little bit more group basis, but because I don't want to get hit because I'm pretty squishy, I'm just going to kill him and push him back. So now I also have a shield, which is also a pretty awesome benefit. Okay, so we got one, two, three here. That's a straight, which will allow me to do um, a, a basically kind of a pretty powerful attack. I'm, I'm not exactly sure how super attacks work in a straight. I'm not sure if it just does one element from each card. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it probably just does one each element from each card. It doesn't necessarily do a super attack. It just allows you to use you know, each regular attack from that card. Uh, uh, probably a bonus damage ra uh, rate. So we blew that guy apart now. So we got a pair of nines. Uh, we could probably use that. But he's too far, so we're gonna have to wait. We just hit the space bar here. He's gonna wait. Wait. Okay. Okay. That is one weird thing is that for some reason you have to deselect cards and reselect cards when you wait turns to actually target them. I think it's just kind of a little bit more of a minor bug that they're gonna fix. So let's kill him. He should be dead. All right. We leveled up. Now, again, this is somewhat very, you know, unlike, unlike other roguelike games. When you level up, you're going to get a random set of things that you can upgrade. You know, your intelligence, uh, how much damage you take from things, if you can save gold at the shop, etc., etc., etc. Because I'm a mage, I'm going to take intelligence. That's kind of like my main attack stat. <clears throat> so, okay, so I got to actually choose two spurks. I'm sorry. Uh, so I'm going to choose intelligence and smart. I'm oh, sorry, intelligence and stalwart, I should say. It looks like that enemy had a random item on them. So I have a poor robe. He had a standard robe. Uh, so as you can see right here, for instance, it has a, like a health. It has stats, basically. It tells you what they do. So this has more health and gets a spike. Spikes basically get, allows you to kind of do a damage to the enemies as they touch you. Or hit you, I should say. Uh, this guy had a poor wizard hat, but it does have better stats than mine. So I'm going to go ahead and take that. And of course, those are all randomly generated. You never know what you might find. Uh, and where you find it. So another poor wizard hat. This one has luck and spikes. This one has health, intelligence, and luck and strength. Definitely going to take this one. That's a pretty badass wizard hat. As you can see, your character's model kind of changes as you get better items in the dungeons here, guys. So let's keep moving along here. I'm kind of curious to see Sparky attack. Does he have to level up or anything? Oh, I can All right, cool. I can switch places with him. I keep forgetting that. So our overall goal, like I said, is to explore this dungeon and kind of find uh, the boss. That's not good. We're level 2 versus level 6 characters. This is going to be definitely an interesting fight. So I'm going to hit this guy with a rod and fire. And what that's going to do is going to burn him and then it's going to teleport him away from me. Alright. Oh wait, he's too far away, isn't he? Is he too far away? Gosh dang it. Okay, so we'll get a little bit closer. There we go. Burn, baby! And get away from me. So it's going to teleport him to a randomly, random spot here. Get him away from me. Uh, and now we got to plan out our next move here, which it doesn't look like we're going to have one. So I'm going to use another teleport card. Just hit him with that. Get him away from me. Um... Okay, hold on. Oh, here we go. Four, five, six. Here we go. 
That should be overkill for this guy for sure. He's dead. That was the toughest enemy in that room right there. Uh, we got a pair of eights. Let's see here. Or we got three. We got. We probably can get a super attack of frost. So it's going to damage the enemy and chills them and freeze them for three, four, or five turns. So he's going to be frozen for quite a while, which will also allow me to kind of get some attacks off here. Now look at this. We got a full card right here. It's five, seven, eight, nine. This is going to do a massive, massive amount of damage to him. Matter of fact, it's a little bit overkill, but you get bonuses for how many cards you kind of stack up and it's all actually counted towards the end of the game when you actually beat the dungeon. You can actually see how well you did and you get gold based off of how well you basically used all your cards and what combinations. And then again, you're trying to... Um, also, it gives you bonus experience for actually doing higher level card, you know, sets, basically straights or whatever flushes. You get more experience for using those. And then you get more gold to, of course, upgrade your academy. So we're going to again... I'm going to take defense, and I think I'm going to take tough. All right, we got... Let's see here. I don't really see... We only got... We don't really have much. Uh, does he have full health? He does, so I'm just going to whack him with the teleporting stick. Now he's poisoned. Let's see if we can shoot lightning at him. There you go, he's dead. We took care of him. We can continue moving forward here. Now again, we got a lot of bags around here that we're going to want to collect. So we got some gold. Now when you basically are collecting gold, you will basically start building it up to the 30 mark. And what you want, once that happens, you actually get to the, go to the shop and upgrade a particular item. So like if you, once you get past 30 gold, you can upgrade your robe or your hat or whatever, you know, items you may have on your character. How do I see my character sheet? Oh, okay, so there it goes. You can upgrade any one of these pieces of equipment at the shop. Uh, and basically make them better. That's what the point of gold is in this game, basically. Is it allows you to upgrade your items, enhance your stats, and make yourself a more powerful character. Damn! These guys are like... Ganging up on me, man. Okay. <gasps> what?! Puppy, no! You killed my dog, you bastards. I'm gonna wait one turn. And they're gonna pile this guy with like a bunch of damn. Oh my god. He is going to completely ignore that shot. Okay, so we're not gonna wanna do that. Alright, we're gonna wanna wait on that. Okay, let's, let's get him away from us. He killed my puppy, guys. Doggy. Why? Okay, we're probably gonna die here. I don't know, we'll see. He's hitting rather hard, this guy. We got a huge flame spell, though. So we're going to see the secondary effects. Damage the enemy, sets them on fire for three turns, sets the ground surrounding the enemy on fire too. So let's do that. I'm also on fire, so I want to get out of there. Ow. Okay. Because I'm pretty hurt here, I'm actually going to go ahead and use a healing potion. Oh god. Why am I, what am I, I'm feared, I was feared, dang you. Like I said earlier, guys, the game really does remind me of uh, Coin Crypt, except instead of it being a one on one, it's you versus everybody. Uh, and that might please certain roguelike fans, it might not, because you know, the game does have a form of progression. There really isn't any form of permadeath here. You're basically upgrading, constantly moving forward, and that may or may not make certain roguelike or rogue fans happy, I should say. We're probably going to level off of that. Yeah, that's what I figured. Because that guy was ridiculously tough. And he had a pretty cool hat on him, or I should say staff, so we'll take that. We're going to wait a little while here. Whenever you level up, you automatically go back up to full health, by the way. Okay, now that the poison's cleared. Holy crap. Okay, we're going to start off with a, a smash, a shield attack. We absorb 13 of that. We're going to go with 4 and 4. That'll do some freezing. And smash attack. Okay, and then we got, let's see, we might as well go the full shebang here and kill him as harshly as possible. Especially for killing my puppy, you bastards. You killed FIFO. Oh, great, he died in another room. We're gonna wait for that poison to clear because I want to step into that. All right, so we're gonna smash this vase. We found another item. Um, wow, that's a really great item. I'm gonna take that. 
Okay. So that room was really tough. I can't... I'm having a hard time spotting the doors in this particular dungeon. I will say that much. Uh, it just seems like they're all kind of the same color. Oh, good, good, good. So we got some enemies that are more close to our level here. Um, six and six. That'll kill him. I guess that Scarecrow summoning ravens, which that's kind of cool. I like that. Uh, three, four, five. Let's go with that one. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. and two. Oh, he'll be super dead. So you get the idea of how the combat system works. It's kind of a little bit luck based. It's kind of random of draw. You never know what's going to happen. It, 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 it kind of creates this unpredictability factor, which I kind of really enjoy. So I'm going to go ahead with defense and two gold at the shop here. Uh, we've got five, four, six, oh, sorry. Four, five, six, seven. Oh, wow. We got actually a full hand right here. We're going to destroy this guy. Again, that's going to give us a butt ton of bonus experience because we use a, a five card uh, hand right there. He's dead. Okay, what do we got here? We got... Let's just kill this guy. Let's use a... Can we kill you with a two? No, we can't kill you with a two. Alright, how about this guy? We can't kill you with that one either. Okay. How about we get you away from me? That works. Go away! Stupid bird. Stupid bird. Okay, um... I got nothing, man. I got nothing. Oh, apparently they can attack from a farther distance away now. I wonder why that is. Maybe because I leveled up a little bit? Uh, we'll use a freezing card. We got a pair of sevens here. He didn't hit through my shield. He's dead now. And then we'll go in there and collect any items they may have had. I'm bleeding, though. This bastard made me bleed. So again, we found another item. It's not as... I don't know. It has more intelligence. Yeah, I suppose it is probably better. All right, so here's where I'm gonna I'll go ahead and keep this item. You're gonna see what happens when we keep we finally pass the threshold of 28 gold here. That's gonna allow us to go to the shop, and like I said, you can go ahead and upgrade one of your character's items. So, for instance, I could upgrade my pointy shoes, my robe, my wizard hat, my robe, whatever have you. I can get another uh, runes of discard. So I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade my hat uh, if I can. No, it doesn't look like I can. How about my? Uh, I just want intelligence. How about that? Intelligence in my pointy shoes? I don't have pointy shoes, so that'll just give me some intelligence there. I bought some pointy shoes now, and that will be listed under my character sheet uh, right here now that I have pointy shoes. Well, at least some were listed as pointy shoes, I think. And that'll be basically a permanent upgrade for my character. And that kind of is the, the, the basic run of the mill of how uh, we slay monsters works. Where is the door, though? Like, I'm totally lost. Um... Oh, there's a door there. Alright, so what do we got here? We got two, three, four. One, two, three, four. We can do that. One, two, three, four. Of course he's out of range, though. Okay. Come on. Are you kidding me? I'm not really sure how range works in this game. I'm not sure what attacks give you more bonus range. It seems kind of uh, always different. I'm not really sure... There's, there's a little bit of complexity to the combat system, I will say that much. It's not necessarily the, world, you know, the world's easiest combat system to master. It takes a little bit of getting used to. Knowing which cards to use and at what time is key to kind of beating this game. I will say that much. Alright, so we got a pair of nines here. This should jack up his world. Uh, and I think he's probably going to be dead here in a second. Um... We have a lightning card. That'll, that'll finish him off. He's dead. Alright, avoid the poison. Grab the vase. Another item. Two intelligence. We're going to lose my pointy shoes. Damn it! But that's okay, because I'm going to get another point of intelligence. That's okay. Uh, and I think there's a door right here, yeah. They killed my dog, guys. There's the mini boss. And yeah, basically, you're going to usually find mini bosses. Leading up to the main boss, guys. There's 30, there's 35 monsters total, from what I understand. Uh, and they want to put more in the game itself. I'm going to go a little bit farther. I'm going to do a little bit of a longer indie view on this one. Because I kind of wanted to show you uh, what happens when you actually get to the freaking point where you can... Uh, you know, that's a waste. Let's just use that crappy card. 
what you actually you see what happens when you actually beat a boss if I can even find one for Pete's sakes um, three intelligence zero health defense luck I'm gonna keep my old one and when you keep old items you actually get the gold equivalent for those items too which is pretty nice I just got hit by a fireball not sure why you bastard all right three and three you'll be dead Get my shield back up here. Uh, let's go with one, one, two, three. Why is it going to do no damage to you? Oh, there we go. I was like, what the heck, man? That's total bullcrap. Oh, he died. Good, good, good. So we can probably grab Stalwart and Tough. That'll give us a little bit more damage resistance. We got that barrel, found some gold. And now we can go to the wizard sh the shop again, which is fantastic. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade my wizard hat. Get another intelligence. Fantastic. Enhance my character stats. Make her tougher. Got a health potion. Very nice. Where the hell is that pesky boss? Um, let's keep moving along here. Like, I would love to be able to see a door, but I don't see one. Again, I'm not a fan of, of the graphics. It just, it seems very uh, plain to me. I wish they were a little bit more enhanced looking. I will say I enjoy the sound effects though. The sound music is all very well done. Good God, there's just nothing but ogres in this room. Stupid ogres. All right, all right six, seven, eight, nine. Whoever gets near me is gonna die. What the? Right, all right. Well, I can't. I hit him. Okay, there we go. You're dead. Bye bye. Toodaloo. You're dead. All right, let's wait. Uh, we got six here. That'll kill that guy. Might as well just go ahead and do that. We got a, a three here, a seven here. That'll burn that guy. Kill him. Um, one, two, three. Oh, okay, hold on. Let's let's go back. Let's just use the three here to kill that guy. At this point, we're just kind of slaughtering them indiscriminately because we're so much higher level than them now. Uh, I don't think we we have a well, four, five, six. There we go. That's what I was looking at. Four, five, six. Bye, bye, orc. Man, there's a lot of loot in this room. This is gonna be freaking sweet. And I'm definitely thinking this is the path to the boss, as it were. Um, that is not better than what I have, so I'm gonna keep the gold. Uh, wow, that's pretty sweet. Wow. Luck. Oof. We lose luck, spikes, and strength. I'm gonna... Wait, no, 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 no. This is terrible. I'm sorry. This is terrible. Keep this. We keep our old item. Good grief. I'm glad we got, we got some gold there. We can increase our defense. That works for me. Intelligence and strength. Keeping my old item. Likes, I like the intelligence stat game. I don't know what you're trying to pull. Now, sometimes you'll find mysterious scrolls, kind of random items throughout the game. Uh, and basically, depending on what happens, if you read it, it can give you a beneficial one, or it can give you a negative uh, effect on the ability. We got a crude magic orb. There's a mini boss. Uh, I'm pretty sure we're going to be able to slaughter him, though. Okay, hold on. Ah, uh, okay, we'll just blast him with some lightning. I guess we headed definitely in the direction where the enemies were tougher, for sure. Uh, and if I can't find the boss here in the next couple of battles, I'm probably just going to go ahead and end the video, guys. This has definitely gone on long enough. I thought it'd be a little bit easier, but I will say that you know, the dungeons are expansive. They're fairly big. Um, okay, we'll go ahead and lightning that guy with that. Will that kill him? No, but it'll mess up his world. Alright, and then we'll ice him. Ice, ice, baby. Okay. Ow, we got hit there. That's okay, though, because I'm pretty sure he's dead. He's too low level, that guy. Okay, cool. Uh, we're going to take again Frugal, and we'll take Tough again. Because some of those stats are kind of useless for us. Again, not a very good robe. This has more intelligence. I'm going to keep my old item. I think that might put us over. Yep, totally did. Uh, we're gonna need 
Wow, these kind of all suck. We're gonna go with health. It's like telling me I'm maxed out on, on intelligence, I have a feeling. If this isn't it... Oh, for God's sakes. Are you kidding me? Oh, balls, dude. Alright. You're dead. Alright, so we're gonna end it here, guys, I think. Um, because we're just not having much luck of finding the boss. So basically, after you beat the game, after you beat the dungeon, you get taken to a screen where you can see how, um... Well, you did basically collect gold. You go back to the original area, and, um... I'll just go ahead and give up. You go back to the, um... The, the academy, you upgrade it. Yes, 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 yes. That's that. That sucks. Uh, and you basically upgrade it. There's also an arena mode right here. I hope they basically, you know, expand upon the game. I really think they kind of need to do something with this weird blank space. I'm not sure why this is all like that, but it, it just it's kind of weird for me. There is no steamy goodness currently in the game. No steam achievements, something like that. Imagine that might be something that happens when they finally get closer to final release. When the game's finished, guys, from what I said, it's gonna have a campaign mode, five classes, some more monsters, uh, and be more a little bit more of a fully fleshed out game, guys. I enjoyed it quite a bit. I think it's a cool game with because, because of that combat system. Just wish they would do something with a little bit about the graphics and make it a little bit more unique looking because it kind of looks like all the other rogue games out there. But anyways, big thanks to the developer for a chance to check out this title. Thank you for watching. We're going to subscribe and share, and I'll keep bringing you awesome indie games, guys. Till next time, play more indie games.